what's going on guys uh, in this video tutorial I will show you guys how to use a bash shell script to uh, access the GPIO on the Pendabore using the command line so I have made three uh, uh, user I have allowed three user input so from the command line the first one is the GPIO then the second one is the direction of the GPIO and the, th and the third user input is a value and then the next thing I, I check for is see if the user has entered uh, an option that I have allowed is the clear option so if someone uh, entered the CLR on the second user input it will clear all the uh, GBIO folders and then also have an, an end logic statement here that if uh, only if the uh, the first input is not a non-zero input, then the C the clear option will be valid. So here is the statement for this option. Basically, it does a clear uh, an export the folder, and that will uh, clear the folder, and then it just exit the program, and then. The uh, other option is that if the user has entered the three parameters I have mentioned earlier, the GPIO number, the direction, and value, and then this is the Z option which checks if the uh, length of string is not zero. It, okay, and then this is the statement. It's gonna if, if, if it's not true, if the statement is not true, if the one of the input uh, one of the inputs is empty, an empty string, then it will echo out the help a menu. And you notice how I have two uh, two two options for the user. One is the clear option, and the other one is the, the one to activate the GBIO and echo out the uh, user's input okay and then this is an if statement and the next part is basically uh, this will help uh, simplify a lot of things when you change the, on the ownership of the uh, export file once you change the ownership to your own to the new owner and a group which is uh, in my case uh, Kelvin Kelvin and then then uh, I'll change the ownership of the export uh, file and then I can use that. Next thing I need to do is I need to export the GBIO uh, to a folder. So here I have uh, used the echo command to echo the variable GBIO that the user has entered in the first user input. So that will be uh, using and then use the uh, the greater sign greater than sign to write to the file uh, export. So that should export the uh, whatever GPIO you specify on the Panda board. And then next thing we need to do is uh, make a path variable. So that makes things a lot easier for us. And then we we'll, next thing we need to do is again is change the ownership again of the uh, of, uh, of the exported GPIO folder, and which is stored in the path variable. So I just change the ownership of that. And then, then that's this is for debugging. So I just uh, list the permission afterwards, and then we can check the initial uh, direction and value of the GPIO. Notice we're still using the path variable here. And then we can set uh, it'll set the new direction and variable specified in the user input, and then check the final. Uh, direction and value and then just exit the program so let me open open up my panda board on the server and then enter password okay so uh, I'm just gonna highlight all the, uh, the script here and then I'm gonna use my VI editor on my panda board I'll call it set GPIO and then just press enter 
and here inside the VI editor I just press I for input and then I'm just going to right click on my mouse to paste whatever and then hit the escape key and then do shift uh, shift and then semicolon that will give you the colon and then I'll press X to save and I need to change the mod to 7.5 to execute the new uh, the set GBIO so that changed the uh, permission anyways uh, so so now I can use that as an executable okay so let me try do this execute this without enter any input unexpected okay let me try and to copy the set gpio shell and check permission and then yeah I have auto permission here so I'll execute my set gpio shell vi there's something weird here oh okay I I actually paste this twice so we need to do this again Sorry guys, uh, so we gotta do this again. So I'll actually erase the uh, previous one, all the set GPIO, and then I'll do the VI set GPIO dot shell, and then I'll just paste it. Oh, well, bummer. Okay, copy this thing, control all, control copy, and then press I for enter and then paste it. Son of a Ah Why won't you paste? Copy Okay, I there you go. Hopefully you did not do it twice. Okay, escape. Save. Change mod. 755. Set GPIO. Okay, execute. Set GPIO.h. Okay, there you go. So, here is the uh, help menu basically when you enter nothing. And let's, let's say I want to turn um, the G GPIO 140 to output and then I'm going to set high I'll do like 140 and then hit out and then 1 is for the value and just enter and I'm asked for my uh, password because I'm, I'm changing permission of the root folder and then look at this so it's checking the initial value is the uh, direction is out value 0 and the new uh, direction as we said earlier is out and uh, the value is 1 so that worked so let me uh, end this video it's getting long so thanks for watching